Hi, this is Jacob with HVACB. Kind of wanted to go over today and show you in this video what an average service technician has in his bag. So these are the two main things that I am always making sure that I have on hand is gonna be my bag, obviously with all my tools in it, which I will kind of go through what all is set up in there. And then this, my tablet. I always have this for quotes, for diagnostics, for showing customers just pictures and videos of anything that I find if I'm in the attic or outside anything that I can uh, pull up for my customers to show them just a little bit bigger than handing them a cell phone. We, I also, my company, we use our uh, database system through this. We use our house call app on there to just kind of show all the different customers and price booking and everything. So a tablet's kind of a wonderful tool now that we've kind of gone into the more technological side of things. So this right here is my veto bag. And this is what I run every day for service, install, commercial, light commercial, and uh, mainly residential. First pouch here, just starting off. I always have a multi-bit for locking caps for the refrigerant on the outdoor units. And then I have two Klein magnetic stubbies for quarter and five sixteenths. Up here in the first front pouch, a lot of this is gonna be kind of on my maintenance and PMA side, but I have T-stat wire, little piece that I unroll to clean out ports for the draft motors, make sure there's no buildup of rust. This right here is a little scotch pad that I use for flame sensors, clean them off when they get a lot of carbon buildup. It's not extremely abrasive to where it'll cause any issues, but it'll clean up all that carbon buildup. If I have one that's extremely dirty and that's not doing it, I have an old piece of sand cloth here. In this center section, I've kind of kind of rubbed it really rough. And right there, you're kind of, you're nicely going to be able to get that uh, flame sensor in there clean that bad boy off make sure that it's going to be reading the right flames and then up here i also have my threes and my fives for my fuses it's just an easy spot for those next i have two of these field piece little stick thermometers so that i can get delta t temperature rise all those kind of things to make sure my systems are running properly Stick those in duct board, drill tiny holes into sheet metal ducting, and you can, it's a very tiny probe that'll stick in there to get your temperature offsets. Also, always have to make sure that I have a bunch of these alligators backed up for diagnostics, for eliminating thermostats in line and jumping it straight at con control boards and just kind of doing general, general diagnostics and maintenance there. And then of course, I always have two different sets of Allen keys. And then my other field piece stick thermometer and then my alligator clamp leads for my fluke meter. Also wonderful for tiny wires that you can't keep your fingers on the leads and those will just clip it right there. So into the main compartment down to the last bit of bread and butter, the things that I pull for them every day. Starting from the front, we'll work our way back. Of course, I have my Milwaukee M12 Malco flip bit, quarter inch, five sixteenths. That's that's pulled out of this bag every single day. Down here, I have a couple odds and ends screws. Have some of these female to female jumpers. You know, some wire nuts that I use every day if anything needs to be replaced. I also have a couple of these for control boards. If you ever snap one of these or break one of these, it's always nice to have another one with spares. So in here, like I said earlier, I have my service wrench on that side. And then in here is where I have my keys for anything on the outdoor service valves. If I have to do an install to help out, if I'm doing warranty coil replacements or anything with the valves where I need to isolate the line set, I have my valve keys there. And then in there I have another backup Malco flip bit quarter inch and five sixteenths over here I have my six inch extension which is right now holding on to my Phillips it's always nice to have one of those kind of running around and then I have my multi-bit t-step screwdriver thermostat installations those little Honeywell have these little wires that you got these decompression pieces that hold the wires on there. This is nice for that too. I have my bigger flip bit, impact rated flip bit. And this right here has 
all the sizes from half inch all the way down to quarter inch and this right here is nice for any large set outs you know for um sometimes certain compressors can run some of these you also have for commercial units a lot of those commercial size or rooftop units run 3 8 screws on stuff 5 16 anything like that's good to have kind of multiple flippies and then I have a 516 sink quarter inch Malco six inch extension flip bit. Moving on back, always have to have some nice needle nose. This here is a furnace door switch holder it's from Subco. Just a little magnetic door switch so that you don't have to constantly either use a piece of tape or use your thumb. You can watch the furnace run in the series of operations while you're doing diagnostics or just watching the routine during a maintenance. From there I have set alignments. Always good to just have some big hefty snips or something when you gotta twist some pretty heavy gauge wire together, pinch and twist those. Then of course behind there is my crimpers. This is for putting new male or females or butt connectors on. You can just crimp for insulated, not insulated right there. And then moving back, I have my PVC cutters for drain lines. Obviously that's pretty straightforward there. And then here, I have the 14-in-1 HVAC Klein with a 5 16 and quarter inch flip bit extension. You can also pull it out and put it in your drill. It is a normal quarter inch and 5 16 flip, but it also will hold all your tools, your, your Phillips heads, and it's got underneath here, it's got a shredder remover, it's got kind of a Romex that's square for breakers and Romex connectors. Got all kinds of different star bits and Phillips bits and Torx bits, flats heads, and again, once since it's HVAC related, this has also got a shredder core remover in here as well. Right here is just my insulated beater flathead that I kind of use on a daily basis. This is just kind of my one size fits all. Of course, I have my two Klein 5 16 and quarter inch long shank magnetic nut drivers. Top left right here, have my duck knife that I use for all kinds of different occasions. If, if I'm helping with an install, if I'm adding a duct in an attic to get my CFMs a little bit more correct, or if I'm having to just cut any hanging straps or anything, it's always nice to have a nice long duck knife. On this back shelf, I have a couple more random bits that I run into that I need. Nice long magnetic 5 16 nice long magnetic 3 8 and then of course I have another got me a star bit here for deck screws a couple small drill bits for whenever I have to you know try to get a temperature rise or an offset or anything like that you know you want to drill a little hole in sheet metal ducting stuff like that or if I'm trying to run condensate tubing out the house or something like that it's always nice to have a always nice to have a little bit and then last little bit here these two compartments I have my Nipex Cobras, regular channel locks, and then I also have the Nipex pliers wrench. Kind of use one as a backup, or if you have a nice squared off head and it's just easier to have smooth jaw, I always use these. And then the last two, of course, I have my side cutting dikes and a, just a pair of normal little wire strippers. And that's it. That's everything that I like to have on hand with me every day all day running in and out of calls in and out of maintenances warranties services diagnostics anything i kind of like to always make sure that I put everything back and have everything in this bag that's supposed to be here because i can kind of throw this backpack with me and kind of go do anything that i need to only other thing that is not in there right now that i have not used in a little bit is also going to be some form of a small set of imp cutting uh, copper cutters small little travel size copper cutters well that wraps it up for today for my everyday technicians bag service install any kind of diagnostics or maintenances thank you for tuning in again this is jacob with hvacb